Hello beauties, welcome back. Uh, so those of you that are new to the channel, hey and hey to everyone else. Um, so what we're doing today is what they secretly want to tell you. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ali. I am a psychic medium, tarot reader and high priestess to goddess. Um, so this is deck number one and this is deck number two we're looking at what they secretly want to tell you now i love these two decks there was really goddess were really drawing me to these two decks obviously this is a triple moon goddess but on the the patch is going like this with a secret and this is the wizard's tarot okay so quite magical decks we are using today so let's go deck number one what are the secrets that they are telling you what 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 they secretly want to tell you what do they secretly want to tell you? So we're working on the collective energy between you all, okay? And if you need me for individual readings, email readings are 24 to 48 hour turnaround and video readings, um, I have spaces available. Okay, so we're starting off with the Ten of Cups. It was lingering at me, face at uh, top of the deck. What, let me get this right, what they secretly want to tell you? What do they secretly want to tell you? Let's go there. Oh, I like that. Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, what do they secretly want to tell you? So as these cards are jumping out, Spirit are giving me the song How Long Will I Love You uh, by Ellie Goulding. Let's put those together. What do they secretly want to tell you? How long will I love you? As long as the stars shine above you. If anyone can sing. Okay. Right, I'm going to stop there. So, right at the bat, I pulled five cards, six jumped out, two kind of jumped out together. We have a very strong love energy. So your person, right off the bat, would tell you, or secretly wants to tell you, that they love you. Okay? A very strong love emotions, and I can really feel it in my heart chakra. Um, really strong green energy, very strong love between the two of you. So let's start off by talking about that. We've got the Ace of Cups over here. Okay, so this is new love beginnings, passionate, well, kind of more, more emotional new beginnings, very much based on love. Knight of uh, Pentacles, Knight of Cups, sorry, forward facing, wanting a relationship with you, and the Ten of Cups as well, talking about the two of you being in a relationship, starting a new chapter of that relationship, which links us back to the beginning, okay? So what they secretly want to tell you is that they've fallen in love with you and they want a relationship. Or if you're in a relationship and they haven't told you that they love you, they have fallen in love with you. And that is the first thing to talk about. So I like that as a start to a reading. Now, the other cards that jumped out is the Five of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So we also have quite a strong sexual chemistry between the two of you as well. You have more emotions and sexual energy, but there is a very strong chemistry, okay? Very strong connection, very strong drive, very strong passionate, kind of a, like a throw you against the wall uh, sexual energy between you. Now, we have a bit of conflict going on with that. We have a little bit of conflict um, with their emotions for you. So they've fallen in love with you. Um, the reason why there is conflict over here is we have the three of pentacles. So the making moves towards you, firing that arrow is going, yeah, this is what I want. Uh, secretly, they want this if they haven't told you that. Now, the conflicting energy that is coming up is to do with this three of pentacles. So they're worried perhaps that you fancy someone else, <laughs> that perhaps someone in your past hurt you. Uh, maybe other people influence in the situation, like friends or family. They have a little bit of a doubt or a worry about that. Is it enough that um, it's going to be a major problem? No, but it is just causing this little bit of conflict um, in their mind. And it is more of a mind energy, okay? It's all to do with self-confidence. So they have these little doubts and worries and fears over it all because they don't feel confident in, enough in themselves. So that would come up. What they'd secretly want to tell you is that they haven't got much confidence and they're scared that you'd either run off with someone else, still have feelings for someone else, or that there are other people that are influencing that situation. Now, if it isn't necessarily people, it can be a energy of work, that perhaps your work is really, really important to you, which is great, um, but maybe they'd come second. It can sometimes be pets. Um, it can just be, it can be an anything that is an influence on your life, okay? And that's where these doubts and worries come up, okay? So they're a little bit worried that if they throw their heart into it um, and f create this very strong movement towards you of the relationship, that they're gonna get a little bit burnt or stung. Spirit really clearly just showing me a bee. Now with bees, as we talk about bees quickly, let's just give bees a bit of a minute. 
These are absolutely magnificent creatures that work together to build uh, build the hive and also for the queen bee. Okay, so they all work together um, to create. So you, at the moment you are in this kind of creation spot. Now the other thing that's really important is that the druids told a lot of their lore to the bees. And as I said at the start, I'm a high priestess to druid, uh, to, to goddess, um, but I am druid for that, druid to high priestess. So with the bees kind of coming into it, they're a little bit scared that they're going to get stung. They're a little bit scared that more is going on than meets the eye, which is where the druid energy comes in. Um, but they also have this kind of, we'll work together and we'll work it out. It's going to work out between the two of us. They would secretly want to tell you that. So what are they secretly wanting? A relationship, really clearly making movement towards a relationship and falling in love with you and that's secretly uh, what they want to tell you that they're falling in love with you and they want a relationship a little bit scared of being stung but other than that they're really happy I want to see where it goes that's day number one i love that um so if you need me drop me a message mr love at gmail.com and let's scoot over to deck number two so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on my name is ali i'm a psychic medium a tarot reader and high priestess to goddess um, so what we're doing today, as I keep getting the words wrong, is what they secretly want to tell you. So we're going to go into your people's energy, and as we do that, it works on the collective, okay? So if you need me for individual readings, email readings are 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Also, I could do them over voice note on Instagram or Facebook. Um, just find me, Mr. Love Tarot. And uh, yeah, video readings, I have space available. Okay, so what do they secretly want to tell you? Let's see what comes up. That's called a hand slip. What do they secretly want to tell you? England is really foggy today, like the mists of Avalon. What do they secretly want to tell you? Two, three, four. Okay. I have both of them because they jumped out at the same time. So, with your person and the situation between the two of you, I am getting this on my feet, but Matt, and don't take this as a negative, but it's coming up first and foremost. You can go your own way. So, the two of you are probably having a little bit of a stalemate. You're probably in a little bit of a catch 22. You're not really sure what's going on, and your person has got that self defense and pushed you away. Okay? coming up and as my hands do that we're going into a, a forward up triangle which would signify a more masculine energy we're not sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but we are talking about your person okay so it's more likely to be them than you that's just kind of pushed you away at the moment and that is coming up with the ten of swords so you guys watching are probably thinking a little bit Ugh. You're probably feeling a bit, a bit like, oh, this is a, it's all gone to shit. It's all really tough. It's a hard time and I don't really know what to do. You also might be feeling betrayed. Now, what's coming up is what your person secretly feels. They also might be feeling a little bit betrayed from the situation too. So, a heavy energy as we go into deck number two. Do not panic though. Do not panic. What's quite interesting and what Spirit is saying really clearly over here is this relationship is in well they first said dormant and then they said hibernating okay really clear two words coming through that right here so even though you've had a ten of swords and it's probably gone shit tits up towers up here um there is the fact that this has just gone to sleep at the moment okay so it isn't over between the two of you if you are worried that the situation is over it isn't it is just having some downtime why is it having downtime it's a case of reflection okay so your person really needs to reflect it sounds like a teacher talk, talking, but you really need to reflect on your actions. But they do. They need to reflect on their actions. They need to reflect on the situation and they need to work out what they want. OK, so that is the first three things I tell you that it's not over, but they just need a little bit of downtime to work out what it is that they want from the connection. And that coming up with the four of swords and chariot both jumping out together. This is the downtime. This is the reflection. This is the going you know, internalising, thinking things through, um, very much of the mind energy as well. So it is more in their mind. So they'd secretly tell you that. And um, chariot is the longer term girls, dreams, aspirations and movement. So even though that's a little bit <laughs> at the moment, it's not over between the two of you. And that is what they would secretly tell you. You've got the six of swords again, which is them hiding away from the situation. They floated away from it. Um, 
we have cards of movement on both of these, okay? But we also, with the movement away, we literally also have movement back with the Knight of Pentacles. So even though they took a step back from it and they are reflecting on it, they will come back towards you. Um, and I've just got that song, I uh, can't remember who it's by, but it says, this is the kind of love this is wrong, this is what I've been waiting for so long, um, till you're back in my arms, okay? I think it was literally called till you're back in my arms. And I want to say it's by Carly, someone, I could be wrong, but that song coming forward. So they'd say to you that they just need that reflection time and then they are heading back towards you. It's slow movement, okay? So they are making slow movement. But the reason why is because when they do come back to you, they're going to be a lot more stable in their head. They're going to know a lot more about what they want. They're going with the flow of it, okay? And through the stability, through the slow movement towards you, they will make a jump and say to you, how are you? What's going on? Let's kind of rectify the situation and see where we end up. Um, but they will go with the flow of it as well while they're working out what they want. So what do they secretly want to tell you? That they've had, they've, they've perhaps acted a little bit impulsively, um, that they have a worry that, um, th there's also spirit saying really clearly, sorry, there is a worry that they are going to lose you if they don't rectify the situation fast. That is coming up, what they'd secretly tell you. That they've made quite a snap decision on it. And I just heard, um, I just, <laughs> I just heard Pisces really clearly. So some of you guys, I don't work with star signs when I'm reading other than in personal readings, but Pisces really coming forward um, quite strongly with you guys' energy. They've changed the mind really rapidly. Um, and perhaps the choices that they've made on this, um, they're not quite sure that they did make the right choice, but they are quite stubborn and they're sticking with that at the moment. So they tell you that as well. They tell you that it isn't over. They tell you that they're going to find a way back to you. And again, that song, Back in Your Arms by Carly someone. Um, and that, that movement is there. Emotional wise, there's a bit of a brushing off at the moment. They're not really thinking too much about their emotions. Um, they are more in their mind than in their heart so they're working more on a logical side of things at the moment and um, when the knight of pentacles comes back to you it, it could be that they will counteract the energy using a little bit of emotions um but you might still find that they are self-defensive when they do reach back out to you and you do have a chance to rekindle but there is progression routes here and uh, we have got cards of movement popping up three cards of movement so it will come back to you and they know that it's not over with you guys um, and as Grit said it's just dormant and they just showed me a cute little hedgehog just having a little bit of hibernation um, and you might find that actually in the winter months, this is where the movement comes in. A lot of movement happens in winter months. A lot of pregnancy happens in the more winter months. Reason why is because the darker nights are that time for reflection, going inside yourself, seeking the truth. And through that comes out the, the answer that this um, it, you are the person they want to make moves towards. OK, so they'd secretly tell you all of that. Um, but they are hiding away from their emotions, working more on logic, but giving time, their time, that stable movement will come back to you. And that is step number two. Okay, my loves, if you need me, drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I love you all. Or you can do them on Instagram or Facebook. Um, email reading is 24 to 48 hour turnaround and I can do them over voice note. Um, and even when I'm in uh, Kensington at the Tarot Conference at the weekend, yeah, next weekend, um, I can still do voice note reading, so don't feel alone, don't be a stranger, and uh, video readings I have availability for as well. So just drop me a message, I love you all, and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao beauties!